in my last uh, running red video, I forgot to mention one very important element. Um, that line of, of, let me back up so you guys can see my mouse. Um, that line where it said the light turned red and I ran it, some, sometimes we know, we know in a stoplight, let me start here, we, we know in a stoplight, green means go, yellow means caution, and red means stop. And sometimes in our lives, when we see a red light, we're, we just, we, we see red, we see don't go there, we see all that stuff. We see just don't go there, and we still do. And the Lord wants to say, although you run the red light, I am able to turn it green. I am tur I am he said, I am turning it for your good. Although you have, you have ignored my caution or ignored my stop, don't go that way. Although your flesh told you to go that way, there is something else that runs red. God help me. And that's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus covers all your mistakes. The blood of Jesus covers everything. And that also runs red. And that is the most important thing about running red. When you make mistakes, when you ran the red lights of life, know that his blood will cover you. His blood will restore you. His blood will redeem you. His blood will pick you up and and set you on the right path. A lot of church, a lot of um, let's say modern churches, don't want to talk about the blood of Jesus, but that is the thing that is missing. That is missing today. A really, a real true understanding of what the blood of Jesus does. You don't have Christianity without two things. You don't have Christianity without the blood, or and you don't have Christianity without the love of God. Now, in the last video in Running Red Part 1, I talked at length about the love of God, but now I'm going to talk about the blood of Jesus. Um, when he shed his blood, his blood, his blood was the only thing that could redeem mankind. When Adam and Eve sinned and set the world into turmoil, there was no hope. And for, first, like, he sent Adam to connect humankind to God and to have this wonderful relationship with people that looked like him, that spoke like him, that acted like him, because none of the animals were like him. And he wanted someone akin to him, so he made man. But because uh, man screwed up, he needed someone to redeem that. He needed someone to correct that mistake. And for all the things that he tried didn't work. He tried a flood that didn't work. He tried a, he tried so many other ways and it didn't work. He had to send the sinless Lamb of God, Jesus, into the world to correct what Adam did. 
So that's why. And when he was on the cross, um, one of the soldiers, after he was beaten and he carried his cross, got help carrying it and um, was on the cross, one of the soldiers um, put a sword into his side and out came blood and water. And the blood of Jesus that was shed was the thing for our mistakes, our sins, our sins that he knew he uses to restore us. So if you ran a red light, if you if you made a mistake in your life, know that there's something else that runs red. And that something else is the blood of Jesus and that and that red thing stands for restoration it stands for freedom it stands for victory and you are victorious today and this is the end of running the red part two so so guys I'll see you next week bye have a wonderful week I'll be praying for you father I pray that you restore, deliver, heal through this sermon. Lord God, I thank you for speaking to us today. I thank you for speaking to our lives today. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. So guys, I will see you next week. I so look forward to this set to these Sundays together and if you guys want just share them with your family your friends um, with whoever you want because you never know who it will, who it will touch versus um, who it will uh, permeate and that's what I do this for I do it not for myself. I do it because there's all, always one soul that could be watching. I don't do it for views. I don't do it to make money off YouTube. I do it because of the one soul that could be watching. If you guys notice, I don't get many views, but I do it because there's, because one day, way down the line, there could be a, a soul just scrolling through and they could, um, they could, um, stumble upon this message completely by accident. And what they think is by accident, but what I say is by appointment from God and get totally delivered and get totally freed by the word of God. So that's why I do this. So, everyone, share this if you get a chance with your family and with your friends. And share any of my videos that you want. And if you want to contact me, just just um, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to uh, converse with you and talk with you and, you know, feel free. I'll talk to you later. Bye.